in the hands of engineers, a discovery emerges. Light, not to see, but to heal. Born in labs and tested in space, red light therapy is reshaping medicine, while blue light therapy reshapes beauty. Recent data reveals a staggering truth. When it comes to chronic pain, 51.6 million Americans live with it daily. And globally, it's about one in 10 people who endure its relentless grip. Now imagine relief, not from a pill or surgery, but from a beam of light. Red light therapy is offering new hope. Here's how it works. Special devices with lasers or LEDs emit specific light wavelengths that penetrate your skin, reaching deeper tissue. This process is none other than photobiomodulation, or PBM for short. PBM is thought to boost cell regeneration, reduce pain signals, and calm inflammation. But the science behind it, it's still not fully understood. Yet red light devices are popping up everywhere, from affordable home gadgets to expensive professional grade models claiming to treat everything from arthritis to back pain. Dr. Mohab Ibrahim, a researcher and physician at the University of Arizona, says while the therapy's potential is intriguing, there's no clear evidence on how it works or who it works best for. Still, Ibrahim says it's a low-risk, relatively affordable option for those in pain, which is why he encourages patients to try it. However, there are no official guidelines on which devices are effective or even safe for home use. The FDA hasn't reviewed them, and independent testing is scarce. So what's the takeaway here? Well, while red light therapy shows promise, many are still in the dark on the best devices and settings to relieve chronic pain. Did you know that red light therapy was somewhat of an accidental discovery in the first place? Well, in the early 90s, engineers at Quantum Devices Inc. developed a red LED light for NASA to help grow plants in space. But plot twist, scientists soon discovered it didn't just help the plants grow, it also seemingly healed any wounds on their skin much faster, launching a whole new era. Now it's transition time to another color making waves. Of the 50 million Americans annually that suffer from acne, 96% feel depressed about their condition, forcing some to daydream about using blue light therapy to get rid of their pimple problem. Blue light therapy is a powerful treatment that uses specific blue light wavelengths combined with a special medication that targets and destroys damaged skin cells without harming healthy tissue. But not only is blue light therapy used to treat acne, it's commonly used by dermatologists to treat sun damage or even skin cancer. It works by using the blue light to kill acne-causing bacteria deep in your pores, while also reducing inflammation and preventing future breakouts. Blue light therapy is especially effective for mild to moderate acne, with some patients noticing improvements in just a few weeks. During treatment, a photosensitizing agent is applied to the skin, followed by a session of blue light exposure. The light targets only the treated tissue, leaving the rest untouched. Medical experts say it's an efficient way to treat multiple skin issues in one go. And while your skin may be sensitive afterwards, these effects are only temporary. While blue light therapy can be your next step towards healthier skin and red light therapy can arguably alleviate the pain of arthritis in your body, none of this would be possible without the contributions of two engineers. Theodore Maiman, who created the first working laser in 1960, paving the way for modern light-based medical treatments. And Nick Hollenyak, Jr., dubbed the father of LED, who invented the first visible spectrum LED back in 1962, making target light therapies a possibility. And as always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.